What's going on world? I'm Wesley from A Connection TV, The Network, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And the similar connection that I'm gonna try to adopt with Aki Williams from Cypher Avenue is do I vibe with him on his thought process or do I not vibe with him? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Now, Aki or Oki, I don't know how the hell you say his name, but his article will be below this particular video, so click the link after you hear my little rant about this homeboy or homegirl. I don't really know what he is, but what, whatever. Aki Williams decided to write a post doing kind of like a split screen um, image on his article with Miss Lawrence, and Joe Manganilio or Maganilio, however you pronounce his name, Joe, the werewolf from True Blood, that fine, sexy specimen of a man from True Blood. So you have Miss Lawrence and Joe. Okay, I'm thinking to myself when I saw this this pic on Facebook, why are the two of them pinned together? I'm like, are they dating? Did something happen? Did Joe beat up Miss Lawrence? Did Miss Lawrence beat up Joe? I didn't know what the hell was happening and why I was seeing them on a Facebook split screen pack, right? JPEG. So I clicked the link and I read the article and Aki has the nerve, okay, to sit up here and try to make it seem like Miss Lawrence is complete representation for the black gaze of America, of the world, period, okay? Because in the article, he's stating that people should understand why, like himself, so it is a guy, like himself, that he chooses to date masculine men. And then he puts up a pic of freaking Miss Lawrence and Joe as to say that Miss Lawrence is the only black open gay man that's masculine that he knows of versus picking a, a white man as Joe. Now I'm gonna tell y'all like this because, and I don't know if I'm making sense to y'all or not, but he posed the question, would you rather date a flamboyant gay black man or a masculine white black man, a, a white man? So I'm thinking to myself, there aren't any fucking masculine gay black men in this world, you have, and then the story stems from, okay, Michael Sam and Derek Gordon. There you go right there, okay? Derek Gordon is an out basketball star, okay? And he's black and he's masculine, so it seems. And Michael Sam is the first open NFL football player. And he's masculine as well. So, right off the bat, his, his side pick with Miss Lawrence and Joe is completely washed out, okay? People are going crazy because Michael and, and Derek are dating white dudes. And so, his question, Aki's question was, would you rather date an infeminate black dude or a masculine white dude? Okay, fuck that. First of all, let me tell y'all, it doesn't really matter who Derek and Michael are going out with, okay? It really does not, whether he's black, Chinese, Puerto Rican, or white, or, or whatever. It does not matter whatsoever, okay? Derek Gordon, 22, is going out with 47-year-old Gerald McCulloch, and I think that's how you pronounce his name, but he is on the CSI. Now, when I look at the pic, I'm just like, okay, classic, classic situation of mentor, father, to son who is looking for better. Like, that's how I look at it. If I had to prejudge the situation, I'm not saying that they're not in love. I'm not saying that Derek does not like Gerald at all, or Gerald, however you pronounce his first name. I'm just saying that that's immediately what I get because when you have a 22-year-old and a 47-year-old, it's just like, why? Why? I, and, and then another thing I'm thinking, not that, you know, Derek needs him the security because he's very secure in what he's doing with his life and how he's pursuing his life. It, it, at the end of the day, it is his relationship, and that's the kind of relationship that he wants, so I can care less. I'm not mad at the fact that uh, Gerald is not black. I'm not mad at the fact that I don't even know if Gerald is masculine or infeminine. I really don't know. But just because he doesn't dress like Miss Lawrence doesn't mean he doesn't snap his fingers either. And then you have Michael Sam, who's 24, who's dating Vito, who's some kind of swimmer, who's 23. Now, they look aww. They look so aww. Like, I love their Instagram pics and their Twitter pics. Amazing, right? Once again, I'm not mad that Vito is white. What I will tell you, though, for the black people that get all upset and bent out of shape for these two guys to be dating white people, then black person, 
whoever you are, straighten the fuck up. Okay? Straighten the fuck up. I've been thinking about dating white dudes for the longest of times. It just so happens that my dick really doesn't get hard when I look at a white dude. The white dude has to have some kind of soul, like Michael Silas, the guy that I interviewed on a, a previous blog of mine on A Connection TV. Check that out. He has to have some kind of soul, some kind of swag in order for my, you know, mojo to get going. But other than that, I'm typically all dark skinned. But I've been single since 2007. And why have I been single since 2007? Not not because the only black men that I seek are masculine, but because the black men that I've dealt with are trash. Okay? It has nothing to do with the fact that they're black. It has everything to do with the fact that they're insecure. Okay? Um, um, not worthy of love. Okay? Don't even know what the fuck love or like is. Okay? They always want to have their cake and eat it motherfucking too. I've not had any luck with the black department. Okay? So me going off to a white guy is because I have had no fucking luck in the black department. Now, I can't speak for Mike and I can't speak for Derek. But this fucking Aki Williams, whoever the hell he is on Cypress Avenue or Cypress Road, whatever it is, dot com, he really needs to, he really needs to explain himself more in depth and in detail because his article basically stated that no masculine black men exist, but he named Derek Gordon and Michael Sam, who are masculine. It doesn't make any sense. It just, it just doesn't make any sense. So I really, I don't, I don't think you know, Michael Sam and Derek Gordon purposely went after these white guys because they're masculine and they can't find any masculine black men. I just think a lot of the black men are trash. <laughs> and you know, unfortunately, I can't duplicate myself or triplicate myself, I know that's not a word, to date myself. You know, are there good black men out there? Yes. Unfortunately for me, they just don't live in NYC. I haven't met them yet. Let me just say that. I haven't met the right person that lives in the NYC, New Jersey area. Every person that I've met and every person that I've come in contact with has been trash. <laughs> but when I go to other states, I'll find these beautiful black masculine men. So Aki Williams, get your story straight. Let me know how y'all feel about this particular subject. Do y'all think that it matters that Michael and Derek are dating white dudes? And what, like, what? It doesn't matter, right? And I don't know, but click on the link below and let me know if y'all got that same vibe. Miss Lawrence and Joe, I don't even know if Joe's gay. If Joe is gay, god damn, what? But I mean, Miss Lawrence is not my cup of tea, but there are masculine black men that <laughs> live in this world, okay? Uh, Miss Lawrence is not complete representation of the gay community. I'm just saying.